Greetings, gamers. It appears to be Undertale Last Quote or a Time. Allow us to eradicate this foe. Bones. Eradication. Third. Third. Bones. Blaster Bones Bomb. GG. Alright, gamers, I've decided for the rest of the video. We're opening these. Alright, so, I need a conversation subject. So, regarding the Dream SMP, I can't say I'm perfectly following the lore. That being said, I... What I have tried to follow, it doesn't always make sense to me. Like, for example, um... You have the fact that Bad Boy Halo and Ant Frost were like getting all corrupted by the Red Egg and then suddenly they're at the prison working there. And then of course you have um, the fact that they're just letting everyone visit a terrorist. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Dream SMP, it's a story. Dream is essentially a terrorist who was stealing everyone's most prized possession. In the case of uh, Bad Boy Halo, it was a person. And yeah, they're just kind of like super evil. That's their story. But this guy who has a prison... It's like, oh yeah, I refuse to let anyone kill this guy. And I'm also going to let everyone who wants to visit him. And my only safety precaution is that I make sure they don't bring anything in and say that they don't like him. That doesn't stop people from, you know, going up to him and going, Hey, terrorist friend, Dream, how are you doing? And then Dream's going to go, all right, it's nice to see you. Can you go to my um, bestest friend? Ranbu, or Ronbu, yeah, I think it's Ronbu. Yeah, can you go my bestest friend Ronbu and send them their hypno trigger induce message? That way, I can uh, destroy the server from inside the prison. Um, I, I'm referencing. Oh wait, I bet I could pull up something here. Here's the clip. I'll go ahead and link in the description of the source I'm getting this from. So you, wanted me to, uh, on. you wanted me to pass you a message. Oh, um, okay. I don't know. It was, so yeah, here, someone's passing really the message from the message wanted terrorist, so okay? See, okay, the issue with that. Right. Um, Just because he says it's, it's harmless. And then right after this happens, Ron Boo kind of just goes, oh, what? Looks at him. And in just a moment, they're going to just kind of walk away. Is that what does that mean anything to you, or...? Um... Yeah. Grab her? So anyway, back to opening these. Like, in this case, it seems like Dream has some sort of control over Ron Boo. And... Because people are just passing on messages because Mr. Super Big on security can't even have basic security. It just, it doesn't make sense, man. I'm telling you. All they have to do to stop um, Dream from being able to do stuff is to not let Dream speak to people. That's the one thing that needs to be done. And obviously, for the sake of story, that's why things happen. But it kind of raises a question where... I, I, I don't know, it just it feels like they're having the characters be needlessly dumb. Like, I, I'm not trying to attack the writing or anything, it's just... I, I don't know. It seems very wacky that a 
try to lock up someone and then just let them freely send out messages. And of course, in this case, it did seemingly appear to be a harmless message, but it's still, there's the bigger picture here. Also, dude doesn't actually know whether uh, Dream doesn't have any allies on the outside. If Dream has allies on the outside and he just lets people visit them, then it's not going to rely, or he does need to rely on accidental um, mistakes. So let's see, let's see. And then of course we have the red egg thing where everyone just kind of keeps going back and forth on trusting the red egg folks. I get that a lot of people don't really know that they're being like mind controlled and all that. But th the sheer degree that they, they, they're like, oh yeah, we're going to hold a banquet. So everyone's response to come in there without gear. Well, yeah, let's just put a chest right in enemy base, enemy territory. That way we will have gear. Let's not keep them on our person or something. Like, what? I, I don't... The fact that they, the characters were suspicious enough to go, oh yeah, I don't trust this, but not suspicious enough to go... Oh yeah, let's totally just bring gear. If Bad Boy Halo and others weren't so busy monologuing, they would have killed so many people. I I I I don't know. I like again, I know that a lot of these things are written the way they are for the sake of story. But darn it, I, I I want the top highest quality of uh, things happening. Ideally, when a character does something, I want to go, oh yeah, that makes sense. That isn't a really dumb thing. Like, they don't have to make the right choice, as long as I think that the choice makes sense from my perspective or their perspective, whatever, as long as it makes sense from a perspective. But I feel like All Sam Dude, their whole thing is that they're trying to limit Dream. Why would someone who's trying their hardest to limit Dream and keep him confined, why would they seemingly just let whoever go up to Dream? Like... I haven't seen anything in the story that suggests to me that Awesome Dude has a good reason to just let everyone in. There were legitimate times, like for example with Quackity uh, torturing Dream for information or whatever. Things like that made sense. But you tell me that people who have never even met Dream need to meet Dream to say hi, ask him how the weather is. At best, nothing goes wrong. At worst, you're just feeding information to the enemy. Like, this person has the power to raise the dead. The sheer amount of options that someone who can raise the dead has to persuade people, like, oh yeah, listen, how about we work out a deal? I'll raise the dead for whoever you want, and you let me out of the prison. Boom. Now, th now they have uh, someone who can help them. It it's just, it's that easy. Think about one of you viewers. If you had the power to raise the dead, people would pay millions, if not billions, for your power. They would pay so much for you to resurrect people. And that means that it has so much value, so much power despite being in the prison. And he proved that he actually had the power when he resurrected Tommy. By the way, right, let's say for a moment that All Sam Dude's actions made sense for a little while, like early on. The second that Tommy went in and died, that should have been enough. For the character of Awesome Dude to go, oh yeah, maybe I shouldn't let people in the prison. 
But what happens there? No, he still lets people in the prison. He still lets people to meet the wanted terrorist, the dangerous one. He still lets everyone do it. I don't get it. Like, maybe it was forgivable before Tommy died, but after Tommy died, you're really try going to just let a random ghost go in for the heck of it? I, I, I just, I don't know what to say. Anyway, we've done our 10 minutes of opening loot crates. I'll open one more just to increase our runtime of crates. And I hope you'll enjoy it, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.